Welcome to Fairham Academy. And if you sign, welcome to Fairham Academy. My name's Miss Prankard, and I'm proud to say I'm the head teacher here at Fairham Academy. Today, I welcome you to our first ever virtual transition event. And although I'm sat behind a computer screen, I'll try not to come across too much like a robot. Now, we're sad to say we can't welcome you to the school for our usual transition week, but we're really excited about you joining us in September. And the aim of the transition resources is to help you feel as excited as we do, as well as prepare you for what to expect. Now, I'll let you into a little secret. This time last year, it was me who was in your shoes. I joined the school in September last year as the new head teacher, and I know just how daunting it can feel to start somewhere new. I, th I can remember my first day like it was yesterday, and I thought it might be nice for me to share some of the things I can remember, so when you see me in September, maybe you can share yours. I remember walking through the doors and being presented with so many smiling faces, Mrs. Jeffries in reception and the students on their way to tutor time. I remember I could smell the smell of the food tech classroom upstairs. I think it was spaghetti bolognese as it prepared for the first lessons. As I walked out into school, I saw the sights that I'm now very familiar with. Students who enjoy their learning, staff who really enjoy teaching. I saw the care of the staff up in student support services in the link centre and students excited to use our facilities in areas such as science and technology and the students out doing PE. Now at the moment the school is a really quiet place but normally it's alive with activity and action. And it, I can't really do justice. The school is, is such a caring and nurturing place to learn and grow and you're just going to have to come here and see it for yourself in September. After my first few days at Ferrum Academy, we created our new motto, unlocking potential and creating opportunity. We look forward to you coming here with your bags of potential and it's our job to create as many opportunities for you as we can during your time here with us. Now I'll let you go and enjoy the rest of the virtual transition materials and I really look forward to seeing you in September so you can come up to me and tell me that I'm really not a robot.
Welcome to Ferrum Academy's virtual Year 6 transition of then. We are the student leadership team and we'd love to tell you more about student leadership at Ferrum Academy. Before we tell you about student leadership, we'd like to introduce ourselves. Hi, my name is Erin. Hi, my name's Ellen. Hi, I'm Charlie. Hello, I'm Krishna. Hi, I'm Maya. And lastly, my name's Mikius. We're all in year 10, but we'll be in year 11 when you join the academy in September. At Ferrum Academy, there are two main aspects of student leadership. The first is stage badges, which are awards that you earn during your time at the academy based on the leadership you show during lesson, extracurricular activities and outside of the classroom. The second is a student leadership team, which is us, which is a group of six year level students who have applied to be part of the school head prefect team and represent um, Fairham Academy during their last years. There is also the opportunity to be student council representative for your tutor group. As a member, you'll collect feedback from your tutor group and pass it on to us. We'll then make sure that the senior leadership team hears the ideas and knows what the student body thinks of the school. We believe it is extremely important for all students to give their views and opinions of the school, which is why we want to become part of the student leadership team. As well as the student leadership team, there is a brilliant team of prefects who are assigned to a certain subject, such as science or performing arts. We hope that this short video has given you an insight about us and student leadership at Fairham Academy. When you join the Academy in September, please come and say hello to us. Ask us for help or ask how you can earn your student leadership badges. We cannot wait to meet you all. Hello Year 6, my name is Ms Waters and I'm going to be a Year 7 tutor in September. Um, obviously, under normal circumstances, we'd have been able to get to know one another during the transition week in July, but given the current climate, that couldn't go ahead. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about me. As I said, my name's Miss Waters and I'm a languages teacher, so I teach Spanish and French. Um, my classroom is located on the top floor corridor of A Block, although I don't know which number I'll be just yet. One of my favourite ways to get to know my new students and for them to get to know a little bit about me is to play the game Two Truths and One Lie. So I thought I could give you my Two Truths and One Lie and you could decide on which one you think the lie is and let me know in September. So, number one. Number one is that I spent some time living in Spain teaching Spanish children English and then I decided to swap and come back to England and teach English children Spanish. Number two is that whilst travelling in France, when I was in Paris, I climbed all the way to the top of the Notre Dame bell tower, um, only to fall down the stairs of the Notre Dame bell tower in front of all these people, and it was really, really embarrassing. And number three, is that whilst living in Spain, someone offered to teach me how to make Spanish omelette, which I graciously accepted. And when I was going to flip the omelette for the first time it fell all over the floor and it went everywhere and we couldn't eat it. So those are my three facts. You need to decide which one the lie is. I can't wait to meet you all um, in September and for us to become a great tutor team together and for us to all have a really positive year at Ferrum Academy. So I hope to see you soon. Bye! Hello Year 7, um, my name is Miss Sechet. I teach French at the Academy and I'm also the Head of Modern Foreign Languages. My classroom is in A Block, it's A7 uh, if you're looking for me and uh, I might also be in the MFL office which is just opposite my classroom. Um, a few facts about me, I was born in France, I've um, been a teacher since 2003 I love sport, I used to play basketball when I was a teen, um, I love music, I love baking and I have two children who are in uh, year four and five, a boy and a girl. Um, so during lockdown, a side of my schoolwork, I've been helping them with their schoolwork. Uh, we've been baking and going on walks as well. Um, I really hope that you've kept safe during lockdown, it's been such a tricky time for everyone uh, and hopefully you've managed to keep busy as well. Um, I very much look forward to meeting you and hearing what you've been up to and getting to know you. 
um, and so if you have any issues when you start in year seven I'll be helping you out. Take care and look forward to seeing you. Bye bye. A quick message for our future year sevens. I can't wait to meet you all especially those of you who are going to be in my tutor group. I'm Miss Hillier and as you can see I'm a PE teacher. Naturally, this means I'm very competitive, so it means we have to be the best tutor group, not just in year seven, but in the whole school. So whether that be sport, homework, behaviour or whatever, I have very high expectations, so be prepared to impress me. From an early age, I have loved sport. My mum is also a PE teacher and my dad runs marathons, so I was always encouraged to take part in sport growing up. When I was at senior school, I represented the county of Hampshire in six different sports. Since then, I played football for Portsmouth Ladies for 17 years, where I was also the captain. And I now play beach soccer for Team GB and England. This is my England shirt. In 2018, I was inducted into the Portsmouth Men's Hall of Fame for outstanding service to the club. I'm the only female definitely in England, maybe the whole world, to be inducted into a men's club. So that is something that I'm really proud of. Last year I got to play at an Olympic event at the World Beach Games in Qatar, playing for Team GB. We came second and I got this impressive silver medal. And it's really, really heavy. This is my biggest achievement in my whole life. Here's some pictures of me playing for Team GB in the World Beach Games and my trophy cabinet. Here is a goal that I scored in the World Beach Games in the semi-final against Brazil. What did you think of that then? That's probably the best goal I've ever scored in beach soccer. Don't worry if you're not sporty. I have great admiration for hard workers in whatever you choose to do. I live by a saying that is, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. So it doesn't matter if you're sporty or not. Whatever your passion is, just work hard. I'm a great believer in taking opportunities. I've been given many opportunities pl to play for different teams in different countries over the years, of which I've taken them all. And I've learned so much from different cultures and met so many friends for life. So I've got a few tasks for you to do, people that are going to be in my tutor group for when we get back in September. First one is, what opportunities can you take over the next 11 weeks? They could be something small like helping out at home or doing something in your community. Second thing, what do you admire about yourself? Be prepared to tell me. And then finally, set yourself a goal. What would you like to achieve? That could be when you're at Fairham Academy or outside of Fairham Academy. It could be a short time goal or a long term goal. So now you know quite a lot about me. When you get to Fairham Academy in September, you need to be prepared to tell me about you. Can't wait to meet you all. Hello Year 6, my name is Miss Barbary and I have the absolute pleasure of being one of your Year 7 tutors from September. Now normally we'd get to meet each other beforehand but unfortunately because of everything going on in the world it's not yet possible. So instead you've got this quick video of me introducing myself so hopefully you can get to know me a bit better. So I have something in common with all of you already, and that's because it's also my first year at Fairham Academy. But trust me when I say you have absolutely nothing to worry about because everybody I've met so far has been so lovely. I'm a maths teacher here at Fairham, so even if you're not in my tutor group, I might get to meet you anyway because I might be teaching you at some point. Now we all know maths is the best subject in the world and I love maths because you can start with something so complicated and just using a quick method you can whittle it down to a little number. There's so many different ways of solving the same problem, so you just need to find what works for you. Now something interesting about me is that I'm from Cornwall, which is the very bottom part of England, and it's surrounded by beautiful beaches, fields, farms, it's got lots of animals. But what most people don't know is that not only is it known for surfing, but it's also got its own language. Now my first name is Cornish, it's Cornish for joy, and most of you have probably heard the chant, Oggy, Oggy, Oggy. But what you don't know is that you're shouting, Pasty, Pasty, Pasty. So there is a language, and I actually know quite a bit of it. I'd love to know something interesting about you by September, so make sure you think of something, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Stay safe. 
hello to New Year 7s starting at Fareham Academy this September. My name is Ms Lloyd and I'm one of the New Year 7 tutors. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you. As we can't do the usual transition activities, I've been asked to put together this video to introduce myself. One thing we have in common is that we're both new to Fareham Academy, so we'll be finding our way around together. I'm teaching science, so if you need to find me, I'll be in B block. My favourite school subject is physics. I like the fact that it explains how everything in the universe works. I like that science encourages us all to be curious. Outside of school, I'm a Harry Potter fan and my favourite character is Luna Lovegood because she doesn't mind thinking differently to other people. I also really enjoy music, particularly world and folk music. Usually at this point in the summer, I would be looking forward to going to my favourite music festival, which is called WOMAD. Instead, I'm listening to lots of music at home, and I might have to have a mini festival in my garden. I'm very much looking forward to meeting you in September and finding out more about you. What are your hobbies and interests? See you soon. Hello, I'm Miss McVeigh and I teach computing. And like you, this will be my first year at Fairham Academy. So don't be surprised if I ask you for directions to class at some point. I'm privileged and I have the pleasure of welcoming you to Fareham Academy and to help you begin your learning journey at secondary school. Um, I know it can be a period of, of upset for some people. Uh, some people may be excited, but trust me when I say I'm feeling exactly the same way. It's a new school for me too. Um, you may have noticed I do have a bit of an accent, so don't be afraid to tell me you haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. I promise will not be offended. Um, I do tend to get a bit overexcited at times, especially about all things techy and sci-fi. Um, and aside from that, I love to dance. Love to dance. I'm really excited to meet everyone in my tutor group and I can't wait to get to know you all. Uh, it is really such a shame that we couldn't get to meet each other in person. Um, but uh, we'll make up for that when you get to the uh, Faro Academy. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to get back to learning a new TikTok dance. Get here. Um, have a great rest of the summer. I look forward to September. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Hello, Year 6. My name is Miss Emery from Fareham Academy. I'm going to be a Year 7 tutor in September, so I'm looking forward to seeing you all then. Um, normally, we would meet during transition week at this kind of time of the school year, but because of the, circum the circumstances recently, we are all making videos to say hello to you, and we can't wait to see you in person when September rolls around and you start your journey at Fareham Academy. I'm a PE teacher as well as a maths teacher, so some of you might see me more than once a week outside of tutor in your lessons. Some of you might only see me as your tutor, but I'm sure we will get along amazingly well. Because I'm a PE teacher, obviously I love my sports. Football is my main sport. I've played it since I was about five years old and I've been a lifelong Liverpool fan throughout all of my life. As well as football, I do like athletics. Um, an interesting fact about me is in 2017 I worked at the World Athletics Championship when they came to London and I got to meet a lot of famous athletes including Mo Farah and Usain Bolt. If you don't know who that is then you definitely need to look it up because Usain Bolt is a world record holder. Um, as well as sports, if you don't like sports and you're going to be worried that we're not going to really have a lot to talk about, then I'm a massive fan of films. I like to watch TV, read books, listen to music, so I'm sure we will not have a problem. You can find me in C Block. My classroom is C15, as well as in the maths office during that day. But because I teach two subjects and one of them is PE, sometimes I'm going to be over in the PE office or over by the sports hall and the main gym. If you ever have any worries or you want to come and find me, then that's absolutely fine. I'm more than happy to help you with anything. 
final thing from me is to make sure you are staying safe throughout summer and I can't wait to see you in September when we start your journey at Ferrum Academy. Hello Year 7, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce myself. My name's Mrs Knight and I'm going to be your Head of Year in September. I am so excited to meet you all, I can't wait. Um, unfortunately I can't do this in person because obviously um, in these crazy times that we're living in currently um, it's better that we're all at home um, and keeping a two metre distance from everyone. So I'm really looking forward to um, doing, being able to do this in, um, in person in September with a proper welcome. Um, however, I hope this will do in the meantime. Uh, what I do at Ferrum Academy, I'm a history teacher and I've been at Ferrum Academy for nearly 10 years now, so um, I'm practically part of the furniture. Uh, you will find me in the Head of Year office in C Block or in my classroom. Um, a little bit about me, I like to play netball, um, I like to go running, um, I also like playing the odd game of pool here and there. Um, particularly when I beat my husband, which is great. Um, I'm a mum of two boys, and um, also, a little bit interestingly, um, I have a twin sister um, who has been spotted in and around Therum on the odd occasion, um, and lots and lots of students quite often mistake her for me, um, so beware. <laughs> Um, in regards to what I expect as your head of year, um, I expect you to be the very, very best that you can be. Um, I can't ask for any more than your best, but if you don't give me the best, then I can ask more of you. And I think that's pretty fair in its sentiment. Um, I also expect you to be honest with me. Um, I'm honest with you um, and therefore I expect the same. Um, I also expect you to be polite and courteous because you will always find that I am polite and courteous to you um, and that goes with every single member of staff in the school. Um, obviously we are going to be the best year group and so with that, that means we're going to win um, all the attendance competitions and we're going to win all of the uh, merit competitions and all of that kind of thing and I'm really looking forward to uh, rubbing it in all of the other heads of years um, uh, noses that we are the best. Um, in September obviously we can run through all of the, uh, the, the do's and the don'ts. This is just a quick welcome video um, to say um, hi and um, to say that obviously we can't wait to have you at Ferrum Academy um, and I hope you have a really really lovely and well rested summer ready to come back and give me your all in September. Um, what, a quick quick um, message, please please don't panic, um, no question is a stupid one, um, trust me we've probably all heard them before so if you do have any questions don't be afraid to ask and you have got an amazing tutor team behind you um, that will also support you and me in making sure that you have the best five years at Ferrum Academy possible. Looking forward to seeing you in September. Bye!